Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is another uh, video to talk about the settings app. We're going to look at settings that have to do with the lock screen. What's the lock screen? Well, when you actually turn on your PC, you might be greeted by a screen that has a clock, the date, and maybe more information or not. And of course, there's a picture. Uh, that is the lock screen. So often you have to enter a PIN or a password. You can Yes, bypass the lock screen and go directly to uh, Windows if you want, but most people have the lock screen. So the settings of the lock screen, if you go into your settings app on the bottom right through the quick action center or through the start menu and the settings wheel, we have, of course, the um, personalization and then lock screen. What do we have in options in the lock screen? So first of all, you have a preview of what the lock screen is all about. The lock screen pictures are used or sent with something called Windows Spotlight, which gives you a different picture every day, uh, roughly. And it's uh, brought to you, of course, by Bing on the internet. But you can change that. You can have other types of information in here. So you can actually click picture, which means you can choose a picture that is already here, or you can browse and choose a picture you have on your computer that will become the lock screen picture. The other one is slideshow. Slideshow uh, that can be done with uh, images or pictures from your computer. Once again, you can also add folders to have a slideshow of your favorite pictures in the lock screen. Second is choose one app to show detailed status on the lock screen and choose which apps show quick status on the lock screen. So here, uh, you have the ability to choose an app that has details. So it could be the calendar, it could be the weather, depending on what you want to have. The detailed status is that it will give more information. The other quick status is basic information, and basic information can be uh, added with different apps, including mail, uh, your uh, Skype. It could be anything from the Microsoft Store. It could be the weather. It could be the calendar and so on. You can, of course, also click and remove anything that you don't want by choosing none at the top. And this will actually give you absolutely nothing once it's removed. Then show lock screen background picture on the sign in screen. So basically sign in screen is when you click and then you have to enter a password it still will show the background picture. It might be kind of blurred out because there's some effect. So you can either show the lock screen picture background, or if you turn it off, what's gonna happen is you'll have a solid color background instead. Then you have screen timeout settings. Of course, if you are on a battery or plugged in, there are different settings for timeout of when the screen goes blank and so on. And uh, you also have screen saver settings. Because yes, there is something called a screensaver still in Windows 10. And you can choose from the pretty much the regular screensavers that, you know, there was before in uh, Windows. They haven't really done much changes in here. And of course, you can say none. And then you click apply and OK. So that's pretty much all the settings that you have here from the lock screen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.